April is known as Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. The Center for Disease Control says one in 44 children have autism spectrum disorder. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says autism spectrum disorder can be detected at 18 months of age or younger. And by age two, a diagnosis from a professional can be considered reliable. But recently, there have been delays in children getting diagnosed. Doctors say some parents did not notice the signs of autism because of isolation during the pandemic. And as 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley explains tonight, this is heartbreaking for families because an early diagnosis can greatly reduce symptoms. Could things have been missed? Absolutely. Could there be a lack of correct diagnoses? Because of that, absolutely. Autism Services in Amherst provides a variety of programs and support for children and adults with autism. Teresa Baker is Director of Nursing and Veronica Federiconi is CEO. They tell me there is no doubt isolation caused by the pandemic made it difficult for families to have their children screened for the condition. For a parent to sit there and say, well, they may just accept that as, okay, this is a toddler. <laughs> this is what the, we would expect. And if you're a parent with young children who have behavioral issues, we ask the autism experts what to look for. And with individuals with autism, it's eye contact, it's social interaction, it's verbal communication. You should also watch if a child shows obsessive behavior or is fixated on a particular item. Somebody may be hyper-focused on uh, dinosaurs or something, that might be a key to it. But parents would not know that, you know, they might just look at it and say, oh, he really likes dinosaurs. The experts say the early years are critical in terms of diagnosing autism, usually between ages two and three. We really saw an increase in referrals for autism evaluations in 2021. Dr. Michelle Hartley McAndrew is medical director of the Children's Guild Foundation Autism Spectrum Disorder Center at Women and Children's Hospital in Buffalo. In 2020, the center had referrals for 594 children, and in 2021, it received 1,371 calls for an autism evaluation. Usually I tell parents that, you know, an autism diagnosis um, really is for everybody else interacting with the child so they know how that child learns. The experts tell me it's critical to get an accurate diagnosis before your child begins school. You should reach out to your pediatrician and if your child is already in school and you are concerned, reach out to your school district. Eileen Buckley, 7 News.